Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. Today we're going for a real quick tutorial, something you can incorporate into your normal editing workflow so you can get seamless swipe panoramas on Instagram looking like this easily in Photoshop. Let's jump straight in. Okay, so we're gonna be jumping into Photoshop right now to get this done. And I say, this should be a really quick tutorial, really easy to do. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your crop tool over here on the left hand side uh, and in the ratio at the top you're going to change this to 8 by 5. Reason being is Instagram crops photos to 4 by 5 and obviously we're gonna be doing a swipe panorama on this one. This is working with photos straight out of camera so we're gonna go 8 by 5 because we're only gonna cut this in half. If you wanted to do a longer panorama so perhaps a panoramic image of a landscape or something figure out how many different photos you want to cut this up into and then times that number so say it's three times that by four so you're gonna get 12 you're gonna do 12 by five crop instead and then you're gonna run through the same principles that we're gonna do for the rest of this so I'm gonna crop this image to eight by five I'm gonna do it like that and confirm we're then gonna go back into our crop tool I'm gonna to change that now to four by five we're gonna drag that to the side there. Slap bang, enter to get that crop. And then you're gonna save that image as its own file. Easy as that. And then you're gonna undo the change you just did, go back to crop four by five, and you're gonna drag it to the other side. And because we've already cropped it to eight by five, we know this is taking it exactly in half. Enter it, confirm it, save that as its own image. Boom, easy as that. Really easy way, you've now got two images. So all you need to do is then get them onto your mobile device. However you do that, get it onto your phone, get it into whatever you're posting from. Okay, so we're then gonna go into Instagram. You're gonna get your two photos. Make sure you pick going from left to right because that's the way we swipe. Get on that image, make sure it's 4 by 5 and then we're gonna do the carousel option, open up the other image, next. And you can see there, that they're lining up. Obviously there's the gap in the middle in this preview screen. Next, share it. Go find your image and then as you swipe across, oh, look at that. Absolutely seamless panorama there. Buttery smooth, perfect. Looks dope, great on the gram. And it's just an awesome little effect. I've been doing this on loads of my images at the moment. If you haven't seen it, my Instagram at Luke Palms, go check it out. I'm doing it on loads of different stuff. All my landscape shots at the moment, I'm using some sort of hero shot as the main photo. And then if you swipe through the sets, I'm using this technique to give panoramic effect to the other images in this set. So it looks really cool on your feed, keeps people engaged on your post for a little bit longer as well, as we all know engagement gets your Instagram up there. The longer someone sits on your post, the better Instagram things are doing. All that stuff that I don't know enough about, but I know a bit about. So that's it, that's how you can make a quick and easy panorama effect. If you liked the video, if you found it interesting, if it helped you at all, drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you aren't already, all the other stuff that YouTube has told you to do, and if not, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to take the shot. Peace. Peace.